Good afternoon. Now we are going to learn about imperatives. But first, take a look at the picture. What is the man on the bike doing? He's probably giving the woman directions, isn't he? To give in dire directions, we use imperatives. Imperatives are a verb form. We use the base form of the verb to give directions. For example, we say go straight or turn right. We keep it simple when giving directions. We can use imperatives in the affirmative or negative. We use the affirmative when we want someone to do something. For example, close your computer read the text, or listen to the recording. We use the negative when we don't want someone to do something. For example, don't close your computer, don't read the text, or don't listen to the recording. But we use the base form of the verb in both. Close, read, listen. Now let's look at some situations and think of directions we can give. Our first situation. You need someone to turn on their computer. What imperative should we use? Right. Turn on. Good job. Now let's write the rest of the sentence. Turn on your computer. Good job. Let's try another. This time, let's think about vocabulary for computers. Verbs like click on, or type, or right click, are common imperatives to use when giving directions. Okay, so here's our situation. You need someone to use Mozilla Firefox to search for something. Which imperative should we use? Think about what you would tell someone to do first. They have to click on something, right? What do they have to click on? Click on Mozilla Firefox. That's it. Click on Mozilla Firefox. That's a clear direction. Okay, let's review. We use imperatives for directions. And we use the base form of the verb to give the direction. Now, do the matching exercise that comes next.